What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went in and captured the three legendary Pokemon of Emotion. Didn't expect to do that. And now it is time for us to go straight to Sunny Shore City because, well, we got business to take care of. We have to get our 8th badge and all that stuff. Yes, finally, after, what, 29? 29 episodes, I think? I don't even know. Yes, we are finally going to Sunny Shore. Now, it's taken us quite a while, guys, but we, 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 we're there. We're almost there, and, uh, well, in record time, too. Almost 30 episodes and all that stuff, so that, that right there is a fun, fun, fun tidbit right there. Um, uh, let's see, do I have anything else to say about Sunny Shore? Yeah, it is annoying because... You're going to be facing a lot of trainers and all that crud. So what's going to happen in this episode is, yeah, I'm going to be battling and speeding up the whole thing because I got no time to, you know, to keep on uh, seeing everybody's Pokemon and all that stuff. But here it is. Nobody is uh, around this area anymore. So now we are allowed to go into the next route right here, Route 222. And I think there's an item right here, probably. No, there's no item right here. Okay, so let's go right ahead and continue on our adventure by battling everybody that we see right here. I think there might be one item right here. Nope, not an item right there. I'm just being uh, very, very, very cautious with the... There we go. We found ourselves a PP up. And yes, we're going to be getting attacked by level 41 Electabuzzes. Yeah, you can actually capture those Pokemon right here. And, well, the reflect, or the, the, the repel has gone off, so let's not battle all these Pokemon, and let's go ahead and battle all these trainers right here. Okay, so let's go with the pedal dance, and we're going to get dragged out. Here we go, brick break for the win, and just like that, we win a lot of money. Uh, so, let's see, what do I have to say? So, yes, guys, um... Let's see, about a month ago, I, you know, recorded 20 episodes, and I managed to stay consistent with the uploads and all that stuff. I have been getting a, a nice reception on on the videos of Pokemon Platinum and all that, and, you know, it, it, it makes me happy to see that you guys are happy, or you, you guys are, like, you know, enjoying this episode, enjoying all my episodes right here, because, well, shoot, as many of you guys already know, I do not like Pokemon, uh... I do not like the Pokemon Diamond Pearl in, uh, in Platinum series. For some reason, it's just not my favorite. And many of you guys already know, I was doing Pokemon Brilliant Diamond before we went into that like little pause for my studio and all that stuff. And it, yeah, yeah, I, I, right off the bat, I already knew that you know the the remakes weren't going to be good, and it wasn't. It literally wasn't. And uh, ugh. How, what, 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 what can I say? Yeah, once we get to Alpha Zapfire and all that stuff, we're going to really, really think hard about, like, you know, maybe doing it and all that crud. And, well, this guy right here is going to be giving us the TM-56, which is Fling. This, of course, helps us hurl any kind of item we have. There are items that, you know, you can hurl to hurt Pokemon and all that. It's just I choose not to do so. And, well, we're going to have a double battle right here. So, let's go right ahead and continue the onslaught, taking on some newer Pokemon. Let's go with uh, that, and let's go with that. So, here we go, Pedal Dance. Brick Break does the trick, and let's go with Psycho Cut. And the Bounce Attack is really, really going to mess us up, and just like that, we have defeated these guys right here. And, well, let's see. Yeah, we're going to be finding some items right here. Here we found ourselves another PP up. And here in these little huts, uh, Pokemon Size contact, uh, Contest, you can actually uh, show a Pokemon right there. Pikachu Fan Club, which, you know, of course, the name says it all. You'll be able to, like, showcase a Pikachu. Yeah, not going to do that. So let's go with a Giga Drain, and that right there fully heals my Rosemon. And, yeah, we're going to let Rosemon just... We're going to, yeah, we're going to let Rosemon live right here. So, let's go right ahead and do Pedal Dance at a level 42 Magikarp. God dang. And here comes a Gyarados, and just like that, we have defeated it. This, of course, is a very good spot to actually train your Pokemon. Because uh, one or two of these guys might actually have themselves a Gyarados. And this guy also has a Gyarados. And, of course, I am confused because, well, why not? And, well, 
Let's go right ahead and use a Thunderfang, and that does it. And Rosemont grows a little 41. Here comes Remoraid, so another Thunderfang. And here comes a little 43. And here comes Finion. And that's right, we have defeated you. Okay, alrighty, so we got two more of these contestants, and let's go right ahead and beat them. Pedal Dance for the win. And here comes Finion. You know, for for a while there, I actually thought Finian was uh, what was it called? Uh, another evolution to Eevee and all that. Turns out that was not the the, the case. It was just a very good looking, uh, very good looking. Uh, what was it called? Uh, a very good looking uh, fish Pokemon. And here we go with the Toxic Attack. And let's go with the Giga Drain. And that defeats my Pokemon. Good gravy. Okay. Let's go with Poseidon. Poseidon, just peck or do whatever. And here comes another Gyarados. This guy right here, of course, is a very good person to, very good Pokemon trainer to actually battle because he does have plenty of Gyarados. And, well, we are frozen. Good gravy. Alrighty. Okay, so let's see. We got a full heal. There we go. And here comes another Ice Fang. And let's go with a Metal Claw. And, yeah, we're literally just inching. Okay, plug attack. There we go. And Jesus Christ. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take on this Rem Raid. And just like that, we have defeated another trainer. Wow. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Let's go with a uh, Max Potion or Hyper Potion. And let's go right ahead and go with a revive right here to Rosemond because this is the episode to try and train this Pokemon just a little bit more. And, well, we got one more guy right here. And, well, he doesn't do anything. But if you surf right here, you will be able to find this item aside from all the Pokemon. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and grab that. We found ourselves a Quick Ball. That has been the helpful, the most helpful Pokemon or Pokeball ever. And, well, let's get the heck out of here. Of course, you can find yourself like the, like the buzzes. And if you guys want to actually breed it, if you, if you guys want to breed it be, uh, to get like an Elect Kid, you guys can do so. And, well, let's go right ahead and go with the Petal Dance for the win. And here comes another Gastrodon. And that right there is messing up this Pokemon. And, of course, we are weak from fatigue. So let's go with Togepri. And Togepri, let's go Fly Attack for the win. And just like that, we win again. Alrighty. So here we have another Sap Tree. And let's see what we can actually find. Let's see. Talk to this guy. Sunny Shore Gym Leader Valkner has been bored lately, I hear. We need tough challengers to visit. He doesn't get uh, so he doesn't get bored. People get up for no good if they have uh, too much time in their hands. Really? Okay. And if I had to describe the Sunny Shore Gym in a word, it'd be shockingly electric. Oops, that's two words. That is two words right there. So let's go right ahead. And well, right as we enter or we exit this building, we have this guy with an afro who's like, yo, fellow trainer. Your Pokemon are secure inside their Pokeballs, but there's no masking that they are of serious toughness. Oops, sorry, I should introduce myself. My name is Flint, I'm one of the Pokemon League Four. I just had an I, I just had this idea. Maybe you should pull it off, or you could pull it off. It's about the t this town's gym leader. He really lost. He's really lost his enthusiasm lately because they, they. What, what was it? There have been a few good challengers worth his while. He's been so bored. He spends all his time renovating the gym, and then the blackout happened. That sure didn't help lift his mood. You know where I am going with this, don't you? I need you to give him a battle that, that's so high it'll reignite his passion for battling. I'm counting on you, Hotshot. Okay. It it. It kind of sounds like that's what the case is. And, well, would you look at this, guys? We are finally in Sunny Shore City. And, uh, well, we're going to be healing up our Pokemon. And we're going to be taking a small exploration of Sunny Shore. Because we need to find that gym leader. This place was uh, well, was stopped through due, due to a blackout. And what you need to do next is you actually have to go and find the gym leader. Now, he is here somewhere. If you go right here, I think. Talk to this guy. He's going to be like, I'd heard that Team Galactic was up to no good. But here in Sunny Shore, we've never even seen them around. Of course, our gym leader, Volkner, is invincible in every way. 
He pretty much is. Okay. A long time ago, there was a boy named Cyrus who lived here. He seemed to shun others, and he preferred the company of his machines. He was brilliant, a brilliant student, I recall. I often wonder what became of him. Well, I'll tell you what happened to him. You won't like it. And what is this? Julius House, the delightful ribbons place. So yeah, we don't have ribbons just yet. And look at that. That is a Munchlax. And uh, well, let's see. The Rock Heritage. Okay, so let's see. We're going to find ourselves a Thunderstone. If you guys haven't evolved a Pokemon, an Electric Token Pokemon with a Thunderstone, there's another one right there. And let's go ahead and speed this up. And right here, you will be finding this individual. He's like, that glaringly bright and cool thing you have. It's undoubtedly a Poketech, the latest model no less. They're awesome, yeah? I got okayed by the Poketech company to develop original Poketech apps. Hey, you're a trainer, right? Can you do me a favor? You've got a Pokemon with different natures, right? May I see them? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, they're in my Pokeballs. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that right now. So, let's go right ahead and find this gym leader right here. And he happens to be right here in the Vista Lighthouse, the beacon of the last Sinnoh, I guess. So, all you need to do is you need to get up here, and you're going to be finding the homeboy just straddling around, looking down, uh, well, looking down the lighthouse, and here he is. Dot, dot, dot. So you're the latest challenger up against the Sunny Shore Gym. All right, I've decided. If I find you to be weak, I'm going to challenge the Pokemon League. I'm all done renovating the gym, so I don't need to be here. More than anything, I want to have battles that could thrill me again. As the toughest gym leader in Sinnoh, I'm going to unleash everything in my arsenal on you. Okay. Okay, so let's see. So we're looking up in the, through the binoculars, and this is exactly what we're going to be seeing. The Pokemon League in a big old castle. Seems to be the thing. Huh. Anywho, guys, it looks like we have completed this part right here. In the next episode, we're going to be taking on the gym leader himself. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go with the same Pokemon with the same levels. I kind of want to challenge myself just a tad bit. want to see what happens. So, thank you guys again for supporting. Thank you guys again for watching. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. See you guys.